There are many types of proteins in the blood plasma. Albumin is one of them, but there are many types of proteins in the plasma. And these proteins, they'll bind to many different drugs. Some drugs are considered protein binding. That means these drugs will stick to these proteins. So drugs that are protein bound are not going to be able to activate receptors unless they are free. So these drug binding proteins, they act like a sponge and they're not going to free the drug unless the proteins are completely saturated. So these are my drug binding proteins and these little places are places where drug can bind. And then these are the receptors. When the drug comes in contact with these receptors, then some kind of regulatory change occurs. All right, the drug binding proteins, they just stick to drug and don't let them activate receptor. All right, we've given somebody drug A, and in this case I see six pieces of drug A, so we'll say we've added six units of drug A. But that drug A, it's highly protein bound. It's a protein binding drug. And there's no drug left to activate receptors because they go stick to these proteins. So we give six units of drug A and we get no effect because it's highly protein bound. And we can add more and more and more drug and we still get no effect because the drug is highly protein bound. It's sticking to these proteins and it has to be free to be able to activate receptors. So now that the, the protein binding sites are saturated, when I add drug, now there's actually free drug in solution to activate receptors. And so the more drug I add, the more drug I have to activate receptors and get effect because these protein binding sites are saturated. Think about highly protein bound drugs, and there's many important drugs out there that are highly protein bound. And when we start or stop one drug that's highly protein bound, it changes the free drug levels of all the other protein bound drugs. All right, so here our protein binding sites are completely saturated with drug A. And look what happens if I add drug B. Drug B is highly protein bound, even more protein bound. And when I add drug B, it kicks the drugs off the protein binding sites. And so now I have free drug A quite simply by adding drug B. So again, here's our protein binding site saturated with drug A. And if I add drug B, which is even more highly protein bound, it'll displace drug A from the protein binding sites. And so by just quite simply adding drug B, I've raised my drug levels of drug A. Here, we're going to cause a seizure by stopping a blood thinner. Right. Person's admitted to the hospital for surgery. The person takes warfarin, which is Coumadin, a blood thinner, they also take phenytoin as an anticonvulsant to prevent them from having seizures. And the person's taking Coumadin and Warfarin as a blood thinner probably because they have atrial fibrillation. Right. Well, both Coumadin and Dilantin are highly plasma protein binding drugs. All right, so three days before surgery, the Coumadin, the blood thinner, is stopped because they're going to have surgery. We don't want them to be on a blood thinner while they're getting surgery, so we'll just stop the Coumadin. But the Coumadin's protein bound. And by stopping the Coumadin, this left protein binding sites available for Dilantin. And these extra binding sites absorb Dilantin from its free state to a bound state and causing less Dilantin to be available to prevent seizure. Here again, we have drug A and drug B. And here the protein binding sites are saturated with drug A and drug B. So there's plenty of free drug A to activate drug A receptors. And there's plenty of drug B to activate drug B receptor. So this person's on Dilantin and Coumadin, drug A and drug B. And their levels are perfect. All right. Well now we're going to stop one of the drugs. All right, we're going to stop drug A. We'll stop the warfarin. All right. And after time, the warfarin is no longer in the body because we stopped the drug. It was eliminated. So we've discontinued drug A. And notice what's happened by stopping drug A now we have protein binding sites available. And what are those protein binding sites going to do? After stopping drug A, protein binding sites become available. And those protein binding sites will pull drug B out of its free state so it can't activate receptors. And so this is why stopping something as simple as a blood thinner can cause somebody to have a seizure if they're taking Dilantin. Stopping or starting any drug that binds to plasma proteins is going to change the free drug levels of other protein-bound drugs.
So you might get a call from the pharmacist saying, well, if you start this drug over here is protein bound like the Coumadin, the warfarin. So if you start this drug over there, you might need to check Coumadin levels more often. All right. And that's something that happens when we have a protein bound drug is that we might have to check the other levels more often. We might need to check dilantin levels more often. We might need to check the effects of Coumadin more often.